What's going on today, fellas? It's your boy Ooch, and I am here with finally the video that a lot of you have been waiting for. I've been talking about this and hyping it up for a very long time now, and it is finally here. Why I think Broly still has a chance to be in Dragon Ball Super. I gotta give credit where credit is due. This video probably would not be happening right now if it was not for Brother Ooch. Shout out to Brother Ooch, obviously not here in the video because he cannot talk like your boy can. He just sits there like this. But that's besides the point. Now, first things first, I just wanna elaborate a couple things here. Broly, why? Why of all the characters amongst the non-canon Johns, we have Broly. Broly being represented several times over. This guy has been brought back up whether it's been in video games, some kind of poster. He is by far probably one of the most money-making aspects to the franchise that is known as Dragon Ball. I mean, he's the only character to have three movies and they all take place like one after the other after the other the second probably being cooler but i'll get into that a little bit later so after we watch in episode 100 of dragon ball super brother Ooch says to me you know they probably still could fit broly into the series and i say how can they possibly do that they blew their shot my premise in my original video was that they needed to recognize kale as someone that they originally fought or faced off before and if they had this connection, then bam, Broly would have been canon by default. Looking at it from Brother Ooch's eyes, he has shown me the light. That is the possibility and the chance that they, this, they could possibly be bringing him back sometime soon or sometime later down the line. All goes back to my first point. Broly is a money-making machine. He's a popular character. They wouldn't have created a character like Kale if Broly was not a popular character. And you could also maybe argue that they even made a character like Frost to kind of rival Cooler in the sense that his purpose is that Frieza is a popular character as well. So the fact that they got an alternate Frieza just kind of shows you there's some popularity value in characters like this. So let's get to the point. Brother Ooch goes and he says, well, if they have a universe six that is parallel to seven in the respect that not everything's the same, but there's huge similarities, like there's Saiyans on six and Saiyans on seven. The fact that there's a berserk Super Saiyan on universe six, why can't they have that in seven? And we're all here thinking to ourselves, well, they already blew that because it already happened. But here's where you start to think outside the box. Paragus. Paragus is amongst a couple other Saiyans that we know that weren't around during the initial explosion and eradication of the Saiyans initially. Just like Raditz wasn't around. Just like Nappa or Vegeta weren't around. Paragus can still play a crucial point. And he scratch Paragus. Let's say they introduced Paragus as another Saiyan that was not around during the initial eradication and then he, he comes through and he brings along his son. And what do you know? His son's Broly. All right, let's just get right to the point. There you go. There's your whole story. They have now familiarized themselves with Kale. Kale is the Broly of Universe 6. But since we're talking canon, they have seen her first. So if they recognize that Broly has similar traits to Kale, then they can already distinguish that and say to themselves, you know, we should really be careful with Broly because... And there you go. And not to mention, this is actually a better opportunity for them to write the character a little bit better. Because if you look at Broly, Broly don't make no sense. Why is he so mad? at Kakarot. Why is he so mad at Goku? What did Goku do? Well, if you look at my man over here that made the parody movie and he said that Goku had a bigger you know what, then that's one argument. But the other argument is that Goku was just crying hard. He was crying, annoying, annoying Broly, and Broly was trying to get some sleep. That's the premise of 
Broly. This man is mad as hell because he had an alarm set and Goku said yeet and cut that John off. Basically, he woke him up early. But that's what I'm trying to say. They have this opportunity now to write this character better for it to make more sense. If you want to make him this super strong character that he cannot control his own power and takes it out on people, that'll be a lot better, especially if it's written out correctly this time than how it was treated back in the day. Because back in the day, it made no sense. Oh, that's a big reason as to why a lot of people that may not be Broly fans don't like the character. I mean, I can agree with them because it, it makes sense that it doesn't make sense of why he is the way he is. She has someone present there with her the whole time. Caulifla, someone that she has a relationship with, that she looks up to. And even though, even if it was a bit of jealousy, the fact that there was something there, something to distinguish that happened was what triggered her anger, her rage, her berserker form and there it goes and then you have the moment where in episode 101 she takes the thought of losing said figure in her life where she has meaning and she pushes through and breaks through and is able to control such a form and then even access the out of control form but maintaining control this can all happen with broly we have now come to my second big point. This is how I see it with Dragon Ball. If you guys are not already familiar with how we're even having Dragon Ball Super as it is right now, you gotta go back to Battle of Gods, the movie. Because before then, Dragon Ball had a huge gap. And not talking about any kind of side story, OVAs, or little side John specials. I'm talking actual stuff here. Dragon Ball Z had a huge gap where nothing was really going on besides rehashes and remakes of itself. Battle of Gods was used to test if the series had a chance, had a shot to last with all the other big hitters nowadays. Now there. I'm not gonna name any because if I don't name some that y'all might get offended to, I don't want no one getting butthurt on my video. Because that movie did so well, they made another one, Resurrection of F. And because the reception and the amount of money they made off of these, they knew that the show had a chance and they made Super. And now that Super's here, Super has been a very fan service series. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The fact that we got Future Trunks back again once again. The fact that we had an evil Goku. This is the chance and opportunity for them to right the wrongs. And the fact that they brought in a female Broly is just to test the waters. The reception that Kale has gotten in itself is just phenomenal. She has caused enough attention on herself for the plain fact that she literally is taking after a known character, a very popular one amongst all of the characters in Dragon Ball. And so, now that the test is passed, it is now time to bring in Broly as a canon character. Another little side point to add on to what I was originally saying at the beginning of the video, they have so much stuff out there media wise that they reuse Broly as a character. He is a money maker. As a matter of fact, if you are paying attention to the Dragon Ball Super card game that just came out, why is Broly one of the themes? The game is called Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Broly is not in Dragon Ball Super yet, but Kale is. And Kale is not even a card yet in the Dragon Ball Super Card Game. The fact that they went with the Broly route first because they knew this dude makes money. His hair's green. We gotta try to make some green. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, and speaking of green, here's the second point that Brother Ooch wanted to have me share with y'all. That this is something that they can play into the storyline because there is a chance of this actually not even being a real thing. But the thought is just what counts. And it's gonna make y'all think and get a little mind twisted up here. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this too. But let's get right into it, shall we? What makes the color green? That is the simple question that Brother Uch asked me, and I said, I don't know, blue and yellow? Blue and yellow. He was trying to say and piece together that what if the power, the full power of Berserker or whatever form we might end up calling it at that point in time, what if that tint of green that we've been seeing for years is actually Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan Blue in one? 
Yeah, let that sink in a little bit. I, I had a lot. I had to really think about this because that's a huge stretch. I know, even remaking this video right now, I know that that is. Whew, that is that's 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 crazy. Why would you even say that? Why would you even think that? Well, I mean, Dragon Ball teaches you to kind of think outside the box, considering that a lot of things that we've been seeing and happening have been all over the place. Like one example is how fusion with Patara earrings is now has a time limit. For so many years, everyone thought and would have sworn on their freaking mothers that that jaw was permanent. But apparently it's not because if you're human, now the rule is that it lasts an hour. So again, take into consideration everything that I have said, especially that last part because that doesn't really have much of a shot being true. I mean, who knows? But blue and yellow do make green. And Broly's Super Saiyan Berserker form definitely has that tint of green in it. And looking back into when Trunks accessed his Berserker form, or people called it Rage or Ikari, back in that time, he did have a blue aura around himself. And he had the white eyes, the very distinctive white eyes that differentiate themselves from other previous forms. I mean, who knows? But hey, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you guys think, especially on the Discord. Let me know in the Discord. And also follow me on Twitch to make sure you guys can talk to me about this and tell me how crazy I am for thinking how Broly still has a chance while I play some games. And I'll see y'all next time.